Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Nerdcraft SMP. I am here today in the end because I have an idea for a shop that I want to open where I can sell replacement gear for people who have died in lava or fallen into the void, something along those lines. And I can get it all with trading with my villager trading hall. And the only thing that I would really need is a source of experience. I do have my skeleton farm, which it's okay for a temporary experience farm. Oh, hello there, Enderman. But it's not the greatest when it comes to massive amounts of experience. So that's why I want to build the Enderman farm that Wells Knight built in Hermitcraft season eight this year. So I will put a link in the description to his video because I never even knew that something like this existed until I saw his video. So I'm going to be using his design to make an Enderman farm here because it looked like it got experience extremely, extremely quickly. So if you want to know how to build it, he gives more of a tutorial in his video. In mine, I'm just going to go ahead and build it and then you can watch his if you want to know how to do it. So I am going to get that started right now. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so that is most of the construction that's done now. Now the last thing that he did was build a little spot for the Endermite to hang out. So I've got some Ender Pearls here and I'm just going to start working on getting an Endermite up there. Okay, finally got one. That took a while, so let's give him a name tag. And fire the part. Why did that not work? Go. Did it work? Perfect. Okay, so named, he's in his cart. Now we just need to build the little section that keeps him safe. Wow, I almost died there. Who knows that? Okay, and that should be it now. All I need to do is take care of these torches and the Endermen should start spawning and falling down into this hole, ready for us to kill at the bottom. So let's do that now. 
Okay, so all my torches are gone now. I will well, run around and pick them up in a minute. But as you can see, the Endermen are spawning and they are going straight towards that Endermite and then down the tube. So I will go down to the bottom. I want to do a few little touch-ups just like Wells Knight did and add a little enchanting area because that's essentially why I created this and a place with anvils. So we'll have that little zone built down below and then I will will show you guys how it works. So I think that's about it for what we need here. We've got an enchanting area, people need to enchant some stuff, ender chest to access inventory, lots of anvils. We've got extra anvils in there and a bunch of lapis in there in case anybody wants some, just donate it to people. And then over here we have our actual farm. So this is awesome. I've used it a little bit already. As you can see, the Enderman just keeps pouring down and pouring down. But when you flick this lever, then Okay, so here I am in the shopping district in front of my new shop. Now, it does kind of look like it clashes a little bit right now, but my plan is for this copper roof to oxidize. And eventually when it does, then the cyan will match in with the cyan windows, like the, the green copper matches with the cyan windows and the warped door. So let's have a look at what is in this shop. So you come in here, it says, place payment inside chest, five diamond blocks for a complete re-equip. So essentially, each one of these shulker boxes costs five diamond blocks. What is inside? Well, you have a complete set of fully enchanted diamond gear, a, an enchanted shield, a stack of arrows, and then a fully enchanted set of tools. So, yeah, this took quite a long time for me to make all of this. I had to spend a lot of time at the Enderman farm that I built earlier, and I ended up with only four. But I think if one sells, then I can go and get another one, and I'll just kind of try and keep this at four. So now, if people die in lava and lose all their stuff, or if they fall in the void, they have this option for all their stuff. The only thing is I didn't get an Elytra and put it in here because that would take a very long time of raiding end cities, but I might go and do that anyways. I won't even increase the price. I'll just try and go out and find Elytras because I only need four and then anytime one sells, I just have to go find another one. So maybe that'll be a project for the next video is to go and find some Elytras for these things. And then I have lots of rockets so I can just put rockets Pockets in there and uh, yeah then now you don't have to worry when you die and lose all your stuff because it is super easy to replace at the requip store okay so here I am at the base and it is time for the base progress portion of the video so for this episode what I was planning to do is something that I mentioned in the last episode how I said that this area here and uh, going up the walls that way and over along there it would look good with some kind of little roof structure uh, made out of acacia because that would tie the color of the copper in with uh, up above. So I'm going to start working on that right now in the form of a time lapse.
Well, that is one side at least of this fence done. It took me a bit longer than I thought it would, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna have time to finish the other side today in this episode. That'll have to wait for the next episode. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more done than just that in the next episode though. Maybe some detailing on the great hall behind there. So that is going to be it for this week. As usual, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you didn't like it, tell me in the comments what you didn't like. Or even if you did like it, tell me what you did like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it would really help me out a lot. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week.